with the only probable exception being the launch of the Ryzen 5000 XT processors that will likely arrive around August this year, give or take. If we're being totally honest, the rest of 2021 is, well, currently looking to be pretty quiet for AMD. Don't let that fool you though, because it does seem that Team Red have very, very big plans for the future. And if this new leak is anything to go by, then 2022 is already shaping up to be pretty exciting. Let's do this. I wish these files would transfer faster. Come on! Whoa, is that the Firecuda 510 NVMe drive with its blistering fast speeds of 3450 megabytes a second read, 3200 megabytes a second write, and capacities of up to two terabyte? I can have these files transferred in no time. And if I'm looking for the ultimate performance, I could even get the fourth generation Firecuda 520. I better check the link in the description to find out more details. So let's just get you up to speed with everything AMD. In terms of processors, their top models form the Zen 3 7 nanometer Ryzen 5000 series, while their Radeon 6000 series graphics cards comprise of their latest RDNA 2 7 nanometer architecture. Now, while nothing major is kind of expected from either the Ryzen or Radeon sides of the business until about at least kind of next year, a reliable leak source, Broly X1, some kind of reference to Dragon Ball Z as I understand it, is suggesting that something pretty major will happen in or around Q4 2022. Namely, that AMD will not only launch their new Ryzen 7000 processors, transitioning their CPU platform over to the five nanometer Zen 4 architecture, but that their RDNA 3 Radeon 7000 series graphics cards may also be launched and possibly released at pretty much the exact same time. Now I can already visualize some of the confusion on people's faces after what I've just said. Andy, how can AMD release the Ryzen 7000 series when we don't even have the Ryzen 6000 series yet? Well, we actually might have an answer to that question and one that kind of ties into a lot of rumors that we've heard over the last year. Put simply, the chances are looking exceptionally high that AMD will never actually release a Ryzen 6000 series of CPUs. So, I mean, don't look so shocked. It wouldn't be the first time this has happened. Nvidia, after all, skipped straight from the GTX 700 series onto the 900s, and even AMD themselves. Well, where was Ryzen 4000 series? Yes, we get it, there was the Pro and the Mobile, but not on the main kind of consumer lineup. Basically, it happens. Again though, why would AMD do this? Well, in one word, marketing. In nine words, to stop confusing the hell out of its consumers. Now, if AMD transitioned both their CPU and GPU platform onto the same numeric series, it would make things a lot simpler for the less kind of well-informed consumer to understand what their latest lineup actually is. And as we've said earlier, we've heard more than a, kind of for a little while now that AMD wants to bring both its CPU and GPU marketing in line. So in fact, I mean, you could already argue that we've kind of already seen this with the start of the XT branding. Now, given that this is <clears throat> leaked information though, we of course strongly suggest you take it with a pinch of salt. More so in the fact that we've added and kind of expanded on it a little with our own inside information and personal expectations of what's more likely to happen than not. Now, we should note though that the source citing this has a track record of being proven kind of remarkably right. In fact, they pretty much leaked with almost kind of alarming accuracy, the entirety of AMD's Computex 2021 keynote address announcements days before it actually happened. Moving on to the bad news, and yes, there is a downside to this. If this information is proven correct, and it certainly sounds pretty legit, we likely won't expect to see anything kind of truly new and exciting from AMD for at least a year, and perhaps as long as 18 months from now. There is a kind of potential upside to this though, albeit we have to go through a little kind of more short to medium term bad news first to get to it. And that's where we move on to chipsets. Unless you've been kind of blissfully living in a cave for the last nine months, you're, well, undoubtedly be aware that PC hardware and particularly processors and graphics cards are in exceptionally short supply at the moment. Even worse, well, yeah, this isn't looking likely to kind of improve now until at least the early part of next year. By the end of 2022, however, things should and admittedly at the time of recording this might be proven kind of hugely optimistic, but they should, should improve massively. And who knows, 
actually be back to something resembling normality. Whatever that is anymore. With this in mind, scheduling both a processor and graphics card lineup release in late 2022, especially so as a double whammy, might be absolutely perfect timing on AMD's part in terms of good and fairly priced product availability. If they did this, they could, and admittedly again, it's a lot of kind of speculation, avoid the problem of having a phantom paper dragon release like we've seen with the Ryzen 5000 series and both Radeon 6000 and Nvidia 3000 graphics cards. And yes, we're almost willing to say now, and especially so in regards to those graphics card ranges, we're legitimately approaching a point now where even we feel like writing them off in history as, I don't know, the best graphics cards hardly no one ever got the chance to buy. So Q4 2022 is clearly still quite a long way away, and in the tech world, things can change very, very quickly. If AMD does launch both their Ryzen 7000 processors and Radeon 7000 graphics cards at the same time though, while I might cry a little in having such a huge workload of testing and reviewing over an amazingly short amount of time, it could very well represent one of the biggest, boldest, and smartest moves AMD has made, well, since the launch of Ryzen back in 2017. Now, while we are kind of waiting, I guess, to see what happens with that, I can tell you something that is here, available, and that you can actually buy for a fair price right now. And that is the eTechnics PC Maintenance Toolkit where everything you need to build, maintain, and repair your PC, including tools for water cooling, yes, it actually has them too. Grab yours over on store.etechnics.com or by clicking the link in the description below. Either way, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, you know exactly what to do, and I will see you in the next one. See you later, guys. Bye-bye.